there's not actually 31 flavors. <laughs> there's not. Oh. Let's go into Subway and see how not fresh it is. Well, yeah, they did find a mouse in one of them. Fuck. Like some girl did before. You haven't seen that story? No. It was a Twitter moment. Have you heard the conspiracy about McDonald's? Mm, no. About their ice cream? What about it? McDonald's is getting on my fucking nerves. I went over to my local McDonald's and I said, all I want from you are your desserts. Well, you know when you go to McDonald's and if you want ice cream or you want to make flurry, they always say like, oh, the ice cream machine's broken. No matter what time of the fucking day, the ice cream machine is broke. Half. Oh, yeah. Well, the theory is that it's not broken and they just like don't want to make it because it's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of customers have complained on social media saying the machines are almost always broken. So every time I get there, they tell me the motherfucking ice cream machine is down. How is it always down? Why is it never up? You just got a big ass machine sitting in your store that's broke all the time, 24-7. Still broken, that's been a couple weeks now. Either fix the shit or throw it out the fucking window. I'm not playing. Excuse me, I ordered a chocolate milkshake and that's what the fuck I want. Ba da ba ba ba, fix the bitch. This is the middle of the fucking day and it's hot as fuck outside. McDonald's is making my baby cry because there's no ice cream. How is the ice cream machine not working? That's just the employees being lazy. That's like when I used to work at like burger places, I didn't want to fucking make the shake, so I just like, ah, no, sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> Literally, what the fuck? These results are not fanciful. Reaching into every household in the land, they take a neat home. They are actual and real. An estimated 16 victims. So you don't feel badly about what you've done? I guess you could say I don't. He was like the fat yellow guy. <laughs> Welcome to room 218. Now, in this room, there was a murder. Real? Yes, it was actually real. So in this room, somebody was murdered. How do you know that? I did a lot of Googling and uh, it took me a while to find a real murder site and I found one. Wait, they're not coming back with us, are they? <laughs> Wait, um, we shouldn't be laughing at a murder, like, real time. We should not be laughing at a murder. Are you for real? Well, how long right, ago was it? 2008. 2010, 11 years ago. Oh, 2008? That's what that looks like. And also, if you add up all the numbers, it's 11. Oh, mm -hmm. and then if you... Well, I got nothing. I know. <laughs> that was 11 years ago. Whoa. 
Wait, are you a genius? <laughs> yes. Whoa. Okay, sorry, go on, what is happening? Okay, so somebody died in this room, um, so now there is some actual real evidence, but we've also placed some evidence for you to find. So your goal is to find out how the person died and where they died. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna be so good at this. Respectful. <laughs> Sharkies. Sorry. Yum, I love Sharkies. Oh, a key with an advertisement on it. Good one, too. Oh, well, shit. I didn't think about what disrespectful thing. Should we not say his name? Wait, but what if saying his name has power? Oh, I need to invoke him. Okay, his name is Aaron. <gasps> Aaron? I hope none of you guys are lonely. I do not need a spirit following us. I, I, I just love waited it. all my spirits. <laughs> I love this. This is fun. Wait, is it okay. E-R-I-N or A-A? A-A. Oh, they like not. they like tell you it's actually E I. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Sorry. Here we go. Thanks for having seen see for Oh, for years. Okay, I guess I should turn my lights off. Yeah. <gasps> smells good. Wait, what? I mean there's blood all over the no, uh -huh. Ew, no. Shut up. Stop it. They didn't stage that. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! No, look at put your black light away. Wait, is that actually black? You Where? Can't see you it. can't see what you, it. What are you talking about? Look at oh, wait, is that really black? I didn't do that. Look like at this one. This. Oh my god! New furniture. Can I turn that on or no? Is that allowed? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I see a mark, but I think it's just actual shit. <laughs> wait. <gasps> There's a gun in the toilet bowl. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Ew! Oh my god! What? At what? Look at that. Well. I mean, that high? They must have really been turned on to get it shot all the way up there. Ooh, that's so ew, 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 wait. Is that a poop stain? Ew. Oh my god, oh no. It sounds like a booger on the wall. Oh no. Ew, oh my god. You guys staged that. Wait. This is literally just you guys in my apartment. <laughs> okay, I found something spooky. If this isn't you, I'm shook. Okay, there's a tear under the bed. Hair. Yeah. You see this derringer? Oh, wait. wait, real? Oh god. Wait, what? Is there somebody fucking in there? Wait, where? I didn't do that. Oh my god, and there is like blood Aaron? on the bottom. <laughs> oh, oh my god. There's a ton of it. Oh my god. Wait, do you see how? Oh my god. Is? There's like a rip under the bed and there's actual dried blood on it. You didn't set that up? No. Should I we flip the mattress? Looks like someone threw like a piece of evidence under there. I'm just being serious. A hole in the bottom of the thing with like a significant amount of blood. <laughs> Like, why would that ever happen on the bottom of a bed like this? Or it could have soaked through. <gasps> oh! The blood could have actually. Okay! We need to de sheet the mattress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so sorry. That's on the under on the other side is where. No, it's more yeah. over here. That's I probably think somebody that just, just got fucked up. Period. <laughs> oh. She's oh, like, God. I mean, God. Just, probably just like Big Mac sauce, or like or somebody lost their tooth. <laughs> <laughs> something sweet. Oh, I got on Garrett's pants. Oh my God. Oh, oh my. God. <laughs> Don't like that. No, it just. No. Yeah. No, that's just. Oh my gosh, my pants with like I put the the dye directly. I'm trying to explain it. I don't like. You're so much other people's things. I don't. Oh sorry. Wait, give me that. Let me see. You have blood on your pants. It's not that's blood. blood. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, oh wait, oh, what's oh, that? Oh, you. <laughs> Oh, we're all getting hepatitis. Ew, is that the title of the video? <laughs> mm -hmm. We all get. Ew, look at this. Oh, oh my god. Oh, something. Oh, oh, oh my god. Shh. Yeah. Wait, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know exactly what we did. No. Okay, that's a joke, but Shane said he didn't do this. We didn't even need a fucking Wait, look. Inside. What weird little thing did you set up, Shane? There's no way it could be better than this. Uh, well, do you just want to go get on get on with the thing? I'm gonna cut real quick. Wait, start for me. So, I have a surprise. <gasps> Maybe just some mozzarella sticks from Arby's. Do you want me to turn this off? <laughs> oh, I have a surprise. I now it's chilies. I was gonna say. That. We all want to eat the surprise. <laughs> So I didn't set up that, <laughs> um, <laughs> or the splooge in there, or the splooge in anywhere. Uh, we actually set up a lot 
of hidden cameras in this room. Stop. Oh my god, I'm scared. You're a joker. Wait, where? Exactly. Oh. Stop. Oh my god. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's one of my I've been recording the entire time. Ooh, oh, oh. This is a premium mystery. Oh, there's so many angles I don't want. I can't <laughs> feel it. Me too. Are you serious? You put cameras in here? <laughs> there might be 20. Oh, shit, shit. 20? Most people will just enter a room and they go about their business and these items just blend in. Cameras. They're everywhere. Computers, phones, streetlights, public areas, shopping malls, stores. Let me just show you a couple of full screen shots here. This is one view of the dining room. You never know who's listening, watching. They're watching us. And it's growing more invasive every year. Everything that is a moving object is being automatically tracked. There's actually enough resolution to be able to see the people waving their arms or walking around, what kind of clothes they wear. But all of these are public settings, so there's always private locations for you to get away, like hotels, right? Wrong. A night in a hotel turns into a shocking invasion of privacy. Police uncovered a massive network of hidden cameras in rooms, live streaming unsuspecting guests, recording an estimated 1,600 victims. Lately, there's been an influx of hotels and motels that are being bugged by owners who want to watch your every move. This hotel manager in Florida is setting up a hidden camera. And look where it's pointing, directly into the shower. It happened at the Knights Inn and Suites, and this family says they found a hidden camera in their hotel room. Now, this isn't a new thing. Before hidden cameras, voyeurs would do anything to watch you. They would drill holes in the walls, use two-way mirrors, hide in air vents, closets, underneath floorboards. There is something wrong about this place, okay? Or even buy a motel to create their own real-life big brother. When Gerald Foos owned the Manor House Motel in Aurora, Colorado, he built a platform above the rooms where he would spy on unsuspecting hotel guests through vents. How many people over the years? I would say it would be thousands. Thousands? Oh people. yes, thousands. So you don't feel badly about what you've done? I guess you could say I don't. And right now is the best time to be a stalker. Hidden cameras are small, cheap, easy to use, and prime. Focus, please. Come on. There we go. So there is our camera. Okay, so we had to figure out some kind of like a distraction because obviously we don't want them to know why they're coming here. For real. So I texted everybody and I said, hey, meet me at this hotel at 8.30 p.m. I said, oh, we're going to do like a one-star hotel review and we're going to come in here and look at how crazy it is and there was a murder here. I don't know, just made some shit up. And then like halfway through that, I'll be like, just kidding. You're on hidden camera. I'm going to find every camera in here. Stop, I'm scared. No, oh my I'm, God, I'm going to find the cameras. One of the most popular and most genius designs is something that you've probably seen around everywhere and you didn't even question it. Oh, you probably even plugged your phone into it. Police say nearly a dozen people were recorded without their knowledge while using the bathroom at a local Starbucks. I was using the bathroom and right here in this outlet, I noticed what appeared to be like the end of an iPhone charger. She also noticed this small hole. If this was plugged in here, the toilet is right there. So the scary part is police say this happens more often than you would think. One was hidden attached to a toilet in the bathroom of a Starbucks. For days, it was watching people inside the Starbucks. Are you kidding me? Four. So small, but yeah, it's such a clear picture too, Larry. If you go to Amazon right now, you will find hundreds of cameras in all different shapes, sizes, and disguises. So you can see the camera right there. And you can get them all to your house in less than 24 hours. Right here is the lens. And right over here is the microphone. And right now, the camera is recording. Well, you're fine to touch it. When did that? So scary. Yeah. So behind here. Wait a minute, there's the camera. Oh, that's the camera. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think one's night vision. 
Oh my Not yet. god. <laughs> Try to find out where it is. Look at the tent. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, can you see it on the camera? Oh my god. You can't see it unless you put like a light on it or something. Oh, there's like a camera in the toilet for Stop. watching buttholes? I'm serious. Oh, wait, look in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no way. Shane, why are you so good at this? I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> this is like Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Semi-attractive, medium-sized truth tellers. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh God. Damn, I forgot about the clock already. Yikes. This is a camera. I know it. Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> did you need a, did you guys need a tissue? Or? <gasps> Stop it. Are you serious? That's like the main one. It's a really good camera. But where's the actual lens? Yeah, it's right there. Oh my God. I don't think they would ever think that that's a camera. Right? Looking for cameras is all about how the light reflects. Wait, no, that is something I actually wanted to do. I wanted to show you guys a, a trick to find a camera. This is actually so annoying because for your birthday I was going to give you like a one of the camera detectors, but now you know about it. Oh, we have one. Sure. Whoa! Oh my god, am I? Wait, so that, what is that? What is the, oh my god, oh my god, I'm holding a camera. What's going on? Wait, <laughs> oh, it's this. It's a gay detector. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's going to explode. <laughs> Please don't go down. Give it to Andrew, hurry! <laughs> oh, oh, Everyone's gay! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we all have cameras everywhere. Whoa. Wait, wait, Brown, do you wanna drink up water? Oh! Stop that. A liquid camera. Oh, it's right there. <gasps> It is probably getting more nationwide just because of the ability to hide such small cameras and in such you know, normal looking devices. You can find cameras that look like alarm clocks, stuffed animals, light bulbs, USBs, picture frames, coat racks, power outlets, light switches, fragrance plugins, speakers, clocks, pens, coffee makers, cleaning supplies, bottles, mirrors, razors, lighters, calculators, TVs, ceiling fans, air conditioners, tissue boxes, lotion bottles, remote controls, slang dice, plants, and shower heads. Oh, there's one more, right? Yeah. Is there? So, there's one last camera. Now, this is the scariest one because it's something that you would never actually The shower head. Touch. No, I tried to get one, but Amazon Prime didn't have it. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Guys, you would never actually touch. Oh, oh, oh. That looks so real that I even saw that and thought about it. That is, did you age it up or did they? I put makeup on it. That it was a really Stop good detail. <laughs> oh my god, your beauty guru skills are fucking at work. Thank you. Was so, Whoa. smoke detector uh, cameras are one of the most popular, and they're everywhere. And this is the one that a lot of people find in hotel rooms. Right there. Where's the toilet? I don't know if people would even see that. Because you would never touch them. Can I just say this is so important for like you to be putting out there in a video? Yeah. This is crazy, I didn't think about that. Like, uh, hello, everyone know these things. It's like everywhere you stay, you need to be looking. Well, that's the other thing. Or like so, gym bathrooms. Uh -oh. oh, that's the worst. Gym bathrooms are really bad because everybody's charging their phones and, yeah. You can blackmail anyone. Wow, well, this whole video is just ideas to screw everyone in your life over. Relationships are over after this. <laughs> Wait, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll get you one. <laughs> <laughs> What's a river? Never mind. <laughs> So the actual theory, which isn't even a theory, is that Airbnbs have cameras. Now imagine you have a fetish for watching people during their most intimate moments, but you don't feel like buying an entire motel and hiding in the ceiling. That's too much work. So what do you do? Well, luckily all you need is a home, Amazon Prime, and an Airbnb account. Now with a nightmare Airbnb story. It was the business trip booked through Airbnb that got way too personal. I turned to leave the kitchen and there was a camera. She found not one, but two cameras inside the home she thought she was alone in. That's right. 
Airbnb has the potential to become a stalker's sick playground. A camera hidden inside a smoke detector looking down on their bed and now looking at their confused faces. Renting the home from this man, 56-year-old Wayne Nett. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, isn't that illegal? Homeowners aren't just allowed to have cameras on Airbnb. Well, actually, they are. Just read the website. We require hosts to disclose all security cameras and other recording devices in their listings. Property owners must disclose any cameras ahead of time. Just look at one place's house rules where at the very bottom they put. We have security cameras by the gate entrance and common areas. Like a living room. We prohibit any security cameras that observe the interior of certain private places, such as bedrooms and bathrooms. So, what does that leave open for filming? Common areas. What are common areas? Everything else. The living room, dining room, family room, hallway, kitchen, backyard, front yard, and closets. All those times you got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom with no pants on, we got you on camera. All those times you and your new girlfriend wanted to get frisky on the big, comfortable couch, we got you on camera. All those times you want to get a little tipsy and steamy in the hot tub, we got you on camera. Night vision camera. Some homeowners even think if they show the secret cameras in the pictures on their profile, then that's technically disclosing that they have cameras. Can they put a camera in a place that you're renting on Airbnb? It's conceivable if they gave you enough specific notice. Now, the reason I found out about all of this is because back in 2016, I stayed in an Airbnb in and from the second I got there, I knew something was off. We went inside, we took a tour, and Shane had this weird vibe. He said, I feel like I'm in the real world or I'm being watched or I'm being spied on. The place had rooms with eight beds lined up next to each other. There was free alcohol on the counter, and the owner even suggested that we bring some girls back in and have a crazy good time. But when we came back from dinner, we heard something coming from upstairs that sounded like there was someone else in the house. Did, did you say what's going on? Yeah, I'm fucking freaked out. Okay. Literally, there's people in there. Okay, Either this house is fucking haunted. No, it literally sounded like there's people walking around like in the pipes. Sounds like somebody's moving tables or furniture up there. When we called the owner for help, he told us that the sound was probably just because the TV was on. And it sounds like there's people inside the house, like walking around, moving things. I don't I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Working. What's working? How did you know that? Cameras. TV. No, no, it's not TV. It's coming from different rooms. It can't be. I guess it's TV. Well, the TV was muted, and he didn't know that. It's no, the TV. It's definitely not the TV. The TV's muted. So he probably just saw that it was on from one of the cameras in one of the common areas, like a living room. I check. I check. I want to just. Uh, no one is at home. That is the moment that I found out Airbnb was allowed to have cameras. And it made me question how many other vacations and trips I had where someone else was watching me. I told you when we got here, I said I felt like they were watching us or like we were being filmed or something. Now just think, Airbnb is a pretty big company, but even they have loopholes for stalkers. And just imagine if a stalker gets caught doing that and they get kicked off Airbnb, well, they could just hop right onto another home sharing site. And there's a lot. Now, once again, Airbnb does ban hidden cameras, and they say that they're only allowed in the common areas and they have to be disclosed. But that doesn't always stop ill-intentioned hosts from hiding them. But the only way to make sure there's no gray areas is if Airbnb just makes it a full-on, no cameras at all policy. But even if they did, do you really think that would stop some sick fuck who wanted to watch you in the middle of the night? Probably not. This manager placed a hidden camera in a floor vent in a bathroom. All these men have been charged. It was very creepy. Yeah. yeah. His colleague found a camera disguised in a motion detector at an Airbnb. The company called the discovery incredibly rare. Paige reported the cameras to Airbnb and the homeowner. You don't know who you're dealing with, and frankly, Airbnb doesn't know either. Incredibly rare. We saw that the phone was filming, and we weren't sure if it was being live streamed. Incredibly rare. Airbnb tells us Nat had an account for two years with at least 40 reviews. I hope more victims will come forward. Rare. Of the ability to 
hide such small cameras and in such you know, normal looking devices. This screw lens is an amazing way to disguise your hidden spy pinhole camera on a picture frame or on any other household item with screws. There are endless possibilities with this lens since screws can go almost anywhere. Just twist it onto the camera and nobody will ever know. Alright, good to know good to next time you do an Airbnb. I'm just so happy because I just realized that the murder thing was a cover story and that there's no one named Aaron who's dead, right? Somebody would definitely die here. <laughs> Yeah, not, not our story. There's lots of stories. <laughs> Probably. Wait, that's crazy. Now I know this is all very scary, but just think about it this way. Right now, you're watching this video in the comfort of your own home, safe. Right? This invasion of privacy happened in her own bedroom where she, of course, thought nobody was watching. Recently, investigators say a 23-year-old woman who lives at the house was changing the input on the living room television when suddenly a computer screen popped up. And on the computer screen, this person noticed, oh, that's my bedroom. A live feed of her bedroom. Imagine how creepy it would be to hear a strange voice inside your house. I was shocked to hear a deep, manly voice talking to my seven-month-year-old son. He burst in, the voice stopped. Yesterday, Abby was alone with her two kids when she started hearing voices coming from their nest. Somebody is in the nest and is watching us and is talking to us right now. He turned that camera on and told us, I'm going to kidnap your baby, I'm in your baby's room. The hacker also turned their upstairs right. thermostat to 90 degrees, a potential danger to their baby. And that's why when I called Nest and I said, how long has this been going on for? How long has someone kind of been watching us? We don't know. I don't know if you realize this, but those cameras are actually broadcasting on the internet. Really? Yeah. The Russian website claims it's making private cameras public because people are not changing the default passwords on their systems. So easy to overlook that simple thing, changing that password. We all have Got those them? cameras. Yes, we have. Where did you get them? Uh, through Amazon. I didn't realize that anyone could have access to that. It's a reminder you could be watched anywhere. <laughs> um, all right, can we leave? Yes, oh my God. I kind of want to stay the night. <laughs> everyone's, at, everyone's at home just like, wait, what do we do? We're scared. <laughs> and you're like, I'm hungry. We're going to Chili's. Yeah, we are. And that's how you saw Ooh, I'm so hungry. Okay, Chili's, here we come. Okay. Beep, beep. Good luck. <laughs> I've seen this one at home, so I knew that it was. You oh, have that hanging at your house? That's it's, a camera? Look at it's in the 10. You, you looked at all the numbers and missed the 10. You should make fun of me. No, I, was at the, I looked at home too, and I was looking at all he, the numbers. Your sex tape 